Sup everyone, I'm Female Tafu, and I'm here to review episode 12 of Sound Euphonium. And thank goodness that Sound Euphonium is getting 14 episodes, just in case if you guys didn't know. So next week we're gonna hit it off with National. So, really excited. Now let's talk about this episode from the beginning. So they are practicing over summer break, and they are practicing for a really long time. They're practicing so much that Taki-sensei is getting scolded for this, so that just shows you how hard it is. And we got some more character development on Kumiko, and I'm really glad that we got this, for she finally found her passion, okay? Throughout the beginning of the series, she kept on saying how she, like, really didn't want to play the euphonium. She wasn't too thrilled about joining the concert band in the first place, but she really did not want to play the euphonium, and then she was forced, practically forced, you could say, to play it. And, uh, but within this episode, she realized how much she loved the euphonium. And it was just great. You truly saw her passion for this instrument. And who knows, maybe this is something that she would like to do. She told her sister, she told her friends, um, that boy who likes her, I forgot his name. And, um, she was crying, okay? She, she was practicing so hard to, um, get this one measure. Uh, but she unfortunately wasn't able to play it the way Taki-sensei would like her or to the best of her abilities, you know, something like that. And she, was, uh, she kept on saying, I will get this done. I will do it. I will improve. But Taki-sensei told her, like, okay, you, have, you can't play this. I'm sorry, you, you can't play this. And so, therefore, it was just given to Asuka. She's the only one who will be playing that measure. So Kumiko, oh man, she was crushed. She was crushed. Might I say, the animation within this episode... Wow. Wow. Mainly the, the animation shines throughout this episode when Kumiko was outside practicing and when she was running, crying throughout that scene. Oh my gosh, that was breathtaking. Wow, that was... Fantastic job with this episode of the animation. I was stunned. Okay, so uh, she ended up calling her girl uh, Reyna, which by the way, I noticed that she's starting to spend a lot more time with Reyna than um, her other two friends. You know how in the beginning she spent time with the other two girls, but they're practically non-existent now. They basically pop in here and there for a little scene, and then that's it, they go, and then the rest is between Reyna and Kumiko, which is fine. I love Reyna x Kumiko so much. But I feel like that Kumiko's kind of dropping her two friends that, you know, she befriended in the beginning. Uh, so I kind of a little upset that they're left hanging for right now, but then you gotta do what you gotta do. So Kumiko is not gonna stop. She's going to try her best to get that measure down right so that she can play it with Asuka over at Nationals. So, wow. Taki-sensei and his teachings with perfection. That dude's tough. <laughs> he wants nothing less, nothing less than perfection. Whew. And if this keeps going on, then there's no doubt that they're going to win. So go, I hope, I hope they win. Ah oh, man, this is gonna be great. Alrighty, so let's hope they get some medals. So catch me tomorrow as I review Ore Managatari. And if you haven't noticed, Today was my last day of school, which is why this review came out so quickly. So expect that throughout the rest of the summer. I'm Yafima Otaku, Sayonara!